Hello world, Shelly here, and today we are going to play around with makeup, little get ready with me, take you through this month's Ipsy. No, this is not my new lipstick, we'll talk about this first. And I'll catch you guys up on where I have been, what I've been doing, what is going on. But first off, thank you Ipsy, I am part of the Ipsy Creator Incubator, so they do send me portions of the glam bag and the boxy charm free of charge and I create things for you. They sent a couple gifts this month which we've got some warm fuzzy socks. Whoa, dropping them. I'm a sucker for warm fuzzy socks and a water bottle holder. Ipsy Creator Incubator which is pretty doggone cool. Thank you Ipsy. I appreciate you. I subscribed to Ipsy for many, many years before they even know who I was. But if you're not familiar with Ipsy, I'll give you the quick rundown. The glam bag is $14 a month. You get five deluxe sample size products of which you can pick one of the ones you want. And the BoxyCharm is their larger, more premium version of their monthly subscription, $30 per month. And you get five full size beauty products of which you can choose three. So I've got a little bit of a selection of things from both of them, but first let's talk about something that has nothing to do with Ipsy, because I gotta get it off. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna do a little skincare first, but we'll talk about this for a sec. Uh, these are those lip liner stains that you've probably seen all over TikTok if you are on TikTok from, not sure how to pronounce the name, Satcho? Sacho, S-A-C-H-E-U, Beauty. I've got three of them now. Now my advice to you is don't order them through TikTok. They will take forever. They sell these at Ulta. <laughs> I did not know that when I saw them on TikTok and I had ordered these two first and uh, I had to get them reshipped because the tracking never updated. They got stuck in California. It took me a month to get them anyway. It really uh, gave me pause when thinking about purchasing things on TikTok shops. I have not had great experience over there. Uh, but uh, got these two, and then when I saw that they're actually on Ulta's website, I ordered the color that I actually wanted, which was out of stock on their TikTok shop. Uh, so I'm wearing this one, Mauve. I think it's pronounced Mauve. M-U-A. Mauve. Like, capital letter, whatever. I love these things. Yeah, the hype is kind of real. Uh, you put them on, they look crazy, super dark. It's drying down. Once it dries down, you peel it off and you've basically got a stain on your lips for the rest of the day. You can wear a lip gloss over it, you can wear it on its own, and they do last pretty well. The inside of your mouth isn't gonna survive, you know, meals and drinking throughout the day, but they hold up really nicely and it just gives a nice little flush of color. So I've got this one drying down right now. But let's jump into one of the Ipsy things, because I want to do that first, and then I will take this off. Uh, this was from the Boxy Charm this month, from Byro, New York. It's a pore refining toner, a berry-based pore refining toner, and it's gorgeous. Like, look at this. Look how pretty that is. I mean, it's just a plastic bottle, but it's really pretty looking to me. So I feel like my pores could use some... Oh, it's sealed. My pores could use a little refinement. Let's try not to ruin my fresh Christmas manicure, shall we? Ooh, that was easy. So, let's try this. It has a slight purple tint to it. Now, I've seen all kinds of things, like you're supposed to dab these things in, whatever. I just, you know, I just go to town with them. Very slight fragrance, it smells very good very lightly fragranced. So this is supposed to hydrate. It's got ceramides in it as well and unclog pores so that you have good hydrated skin. And most pore refining toners skip the hydration part because they're, I'm guessing, assuming that they're primarily for people with oily skin. Well, I have dry skin and I also need some pore unclogging every so often, so... Uh, yeah, and look how, that was my clean face. Look how dirty my clean face was. Now, it is evening time as I'm filming this. 
Speaking of, happy Merry Christmas, happy belated Hanukkah, happy solstice tomorrow, happy whatever, happy Wednesday, happy whatever you're celebrating right now. And if you're not celebrating any of these winter holidays, then happy Merry celebrate yourself, because you're worth it. So happy all the things. I hope these winter season, holiday season is treating you well. That was nice. Yeah. I like this. It looks so pretty. It's going to look so nice on my sink. Very excited about that one. So that was in the boxy charm. Let's take a look at what was in the glam bag. Super cute bag this month. Cute little ball zipper playing on the back. I love these bags. I use them for everything. In the glam bag this month, I'm going to wear this later. We have an Ace Beauty lip gloss. We have a Lucky Chick lip scrub. I go through lip scrubs like crazy because these lips are so dry in the winter. We have a makeup brush from, ooh, I can't tell who the brand is. It's a dome blending brush. I can't tell, but it's super cute. Like a nice little ombre handle going on here. Oh, is that the brand? Am I just blind? Oh, Shayna B. I'm just blind. That's all. That is the brush. We have a microdermabrasion. This stuff is fantastic. I already know I love this stuff from Dr. Brandt. And we have from Treluce Beauty a mini mascara. Which you know I love me some mini mascaras. So I'm going to wear the mini mascara. I'm going to wear the lip gloss. Now in the boxy charm, I had that pore refining toner. We have Dermalect Flawless Bacuchiol Treatment. You guys know I love me some Bacuchiol. Now I make my own Bacuchiol cream, so I will probably gift this to someone. But uh, also let's just do a little update. Speaking of my Bacuchiol cream that I use as a primer and sometimes at night as well. The QCSoap.com, my handmade soap company that I had with my business partner, Judy, we have decided as of the end of November to put that on hold for a while. It has gone on hiatus, mainly because currently she's unable to do consistent weekend events, which is, you know, vendor events are how we primarily get out there and sell to the public. And... I don't have as much time to be making things, plus the winter season. My studio where I make everything is in my garage, which is very cold in the winter time. So many factors played into this, but we decided to shut that shop down. I am still going to continue making the skincare. So the Bacuchiol cream, the squalene facial oil, the body butters. Uh, I don't remember what else, but... Ooh, I'm going to have to take this off in a second. It's starting to peel off. But so we put the shop on hiatus. So QCSoap.com is on hiatus. And I've got everything on my Geek Out of Water Beauty website, which if you are a member of my Color Street Facebook group, you used it, were familiar with it as my stash shopping site. Well, that is still for Color Street existing customers only. But the... Skincare is going to be there, and I've also started designing t-shirts, which, yes, Eva, I see you. I'm wearing one, which I'll show you. Ha <laughs> cheer up, dude. I don't have this one on for sale because it's a little too close to the Grinch. I just made one for myself. Uh, so I don't want to be uh, coming out with any copyright strikes or anything like that. Uh, but I made one for myself because it was funny. A Grinch cat. So I've got t-shirts that are being made print on demand through Printify. If anyone has questions about how all that works, let me know because it's a fascinating sort of business opportunity with pretty much no startup costs except your time. So if anyone's interested, pop me a message. I'll chit chat about it. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm having a blast making t-shirt designs. I've also got them on my TikTok shop on Geek Out of Water. Anyway, if you want the Bacucci All Cream, I will link the new link down below. It's also, if you go to qcsoap.com, the announcement on the main page has the link to where they are now. Anyway, let's take this stuff off, shall we? So what you do is you wear it, 
and then you peel it off and you're left with a little bit of a stain to your lips. Now, I will warn you, don't try to wipe the excess off with your fingers because uh, it'll stain your fingers, <laughs> which I found out the hard way. Uh, I don't have my micellar, oh yes I do. Well, micellar water, the inside usually stains a little bit more heavily and so you want to clean it up a little bit. You can use, you know, a makeup wipe, whatever. Clean off any excess. Like that little bit right there. And, did I get it all? I got most of it. Ta-da! So I use it to give myself just a little bit of overline at the top and bottom so my lips look a little bigger than they actually are. But as you see, it's pretty subtle. And I like this color. I think I like it. I think I like it. Anyway, so that is the lip liner stains. I've been in love with taking a Jones Road pencil and just coloring in my lips because this pencil, this lip liner formula, it's not drying at all. And it it's it's not like a regular lip liner. It's like I'm tempted to just do it right now. We're gonna put lip gloss on eventually. But it's so ah, how do I describe it? It's creamy, but I see the spots that I didn't get all my lip stain off. It's okay, you guys. You won't judge me, right? Ah, it's so good. Like, and it's so like natural looking, but like a little nicer than natural looking because natural for me is lacking some zhuzh. Anyway, they feel like nothing at all. They last really well. They are not like other lip liners. It just seems like a basic pencil, but I'm telling you, bravo, Jones Road. What shade is this? This is the one I've been wearing the most. I can't. <laughs> mauve. Apparently, I'm into mauve. Apparently. All right, let's do... You don't know how long I was looking for this. The cats knocked it on the floor, and I didn't realize... It's my Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin. I've worn it a bunch. I wish I got one shade darker, but it's plenty fine. It works for me for the winter time. It's super fast and easy for like a quick, no makeup makeup kind of a look, but you can actually do your face up pretty, pretty solid and it still looks normal. Like sometimes these lightweight things if you go in too heavy with the rest of your makeup, it just looks mismatched, but this is pretty versatile. My skin loves the ingredients in this one. So yeah, bravo. I'm gonna use my two school art class because I lost it for a while. Turns out it was just hiding underneath some other stuff as a little sort of very light bronzer. So let's talk about where I've been. Well, if you follow me on Instagram or you're in my Patreon, which you can join my Patreon for free. There are things I post that are not behind the paywall membership. Uh, so if you follow my Instagram, I have posted some stories and some Patreon posts about, there's not really any story to tell. <laughs> like, where have I been? I've been at work. <laughs> There's, it's, there's no exciting real tale to tell here, but uh, let's see, I don't have a blush, so I'm going to use from MOB Beauty. This, oh, these are really cool. I'm going to do a whole video about these, about some of their newer stuff, because, so I do, ha I've used their, I keep it on my vanity because I use it a lot, uh, their foundation, but, so they have this new kind of compact that is biodegradable. And the whole thing can just turns into dirt. Well, this is the blush inside of the biodegradable compact. But uh, I'm going to do a whole video on them. But it's really cool. And I'm very much enjoying the products as well. So anyway, uh, basically, 
you ever had a situation where you know something's gonna happen a certain way and you just hope it won't even though all of your soul knows that it will happen a certain way that's kind of where I went uh, after Thanksgiving Black Friday for me is the beginning of a month of no days off of work because I'm at work at JMU from Monday through Thursday and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday from open to close mall hours, I am at a pop-up vendor event with my businesses. And so I go a whole month from Black Friday to Christmas with no days off. And that happens to coincide with final exam period at JMU. So it's like the busiest time at work, plus my weekends are completely taken up. Well, heading into the week before our Thanksgiving break kicked off uh, was kind of when thing, everything started. Oh, I forgot. This was in the glam bag too. Green tea eye patches, because I already set them aside because I'm going to use them <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> so I see them. Anyway. Uh, so there's my little my little bit of a face going on here. We got an Il Maquillage eyeshadow palette in this month's glam bag. And so we are going to play with this today. So remember way back when, before Thanksgiving, I had told you guys I was in a very busy time at work because... I was being evaluated for promotion to full professor. And that meant like five different people were sitting in on different classes over the course of like a month's time and watching me teach to evaluate my teaching. And I had to prepare a dossier of, you know, like the usual kind of stuff. My, my CV, uh, a syllabi from my classes, my teaching philosophy, a statement on all of my creative work, the awards that I've won for my scholarship and creative stuff. Like, all this stuff has to be prepared, right? So that was all before Thanksgiving. And by the middle of November was the deadline for all of the people that evaluate me, which is a committee of my peers, of five of my peers, and then my direct supervisor, the director of the department, the unit head. And so on the deadline mid-November mid that they had to present me with their evaluation letters, which either recommend me for promotion or do not recommend me for promotion, we got a notice from the dean of the college that from higher up, whoopsie daisy, you're actually not eligible to go up for promotion until next year. And it really just depends how you read the guidelines because we all initially read them as five years since your last promotion. It's been five years since my last promotion. Uh, but the way it's being interpreted now is five years in rank like five years completed in the rank you were last promoted to, which would mean you can't apply for your next promotion until your sixth year since your last promotion. So anyway, that's being enforced. So all that was a waste of time. <laughs> oh, I forgot another thing in my Ipsy box from Pear Nova. It's an eyeshadow stick slash liner. I'm not sure if we're going to use it. We'll find out. We'll find out when we get into this eyeshadow palette. So as far as promotion goes, I'm hopeful that I don't have to redo all of those evaluations again because they're incredibly disruptive to classes and to my sanity <laughs> and to the colleagues that have to sit in on my classes in addition to their own workloads and their own classes. So I hope I don't have to do that again because I was told that I would have been recommended for promotion had this not come down at the literal last minute that they could have told us. They couldn't have happened to tell us this before all of our time was spent doing this. Anyway, I'm going to shut my mouth on this topic because um, 
I'm surprised I'm staying so calm and smiley as I speak right now. So we're just going to move on from this before I say more than I want to say in a public forum and get my Wayne Goss number three. <laughs> Did I tell you that I was putting on my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly? That's what that was. We're going to go into the lighter matte in here. Yeah, so moral of the story, I would have been promoted, but I'm not eligible. Yes, I did make a t-shirt that says not eligible. <laughs> yeah, uh, but I will go up for promotion again next year. And uh, yeah, so that was that story. So the way that story plays in, besides updating you on the promotion, since quite a few of you have messaged me to ask me how that went, uh, that's how that went, but um, that also kind of plays into where I've been since Thanksgiving, because, so, that was a very, very, very busy six weeks before Thanksgiving for me, with all of the preparations I had to do, and observations and all of that. The shade's a lot lighter on the eyes than I expected it to be. So, then, let me get my Sigma E25. So, when I found that out on November 15th, right before break, I'm going to go into the darker brown. I decided that for Thanksgiving break, I needed to go to Las Vegas. Now I have posted videos since I got back from Vegas because I remember telling you about my trip a little bit. <laughs> I think it was in the Smashbox foundation video, which I've been wearing that mixed with, sorry Ziva, uh, <laughs> I've been wearing that mixed with the new Dior face and body, or what the heck do they call it? That's, that's the Mac name. Uh, Whatever the heck the Dior is, I've been mixing those two, the Smashbox and the Dior, and they've been gorgeous. I've been wearing that combo a lot lately. Anyway, mainly because the Smashbox is just a smidge too light. I wish I would have got one shade darker in the Smashbox. It works, but I've been darkening it up with the Dior, and the two together are gorgeous. So, once I got that news, uh... I can't lie, I almost quit on the spot. I was, furious does not even begin to describe it. And I'm leaving out a lot of the story because public forum. So I decided I needed to go to Las Vegas. And so I spent the week before Thanksgiving, you know, leading, I flew home the night before Thanksgiving. Uh, I went to Las Vegas for a week, and uh, I'm going to stick with that dark one. This is my Smith 253. So, the way that affects this YouTube channel is that that was the week I was going to film a bunch of videos so that I would have had content to put up between Thanksgiving and now, since I knew I couldn't film... I do a lot of my filming and editing on the weekends, of course, because I work a full-time job <laughs> during the week. So knowing I was going to be at these vendor events all season long, I knew I wasn't going to be able to film. Now you know how sometimes you just hope things will go differently. This is where that story comes in. I just thought like, well, maybe I'll find some time in the middle of the week to film and edit and <laughs> like, what? No, of course course that's not gonna happen like I was so exhausted I was in bed at 9 30 some nights if you know me I'm a midnight midnight 1 a.m. I do not go to bed early I am a night owl I sleep from 12 to 9 basically is my bedtime but uh yeah I was I was just wiped like somehow turning 49 has been a wild leap in my levels of exhaustion. Like, at least as far as like trying to burn the candle at both ends goes, I've burned the candle at both ends my whole life and it is getting harder and harder and harder to do that the way I used to. Not surprising, whatever, but I have to adapt to that. 
So I'm gonna go into this red shade, same brush. So uh, I did not get anything filmed and therefore I had no videos to post. So it's all pretty simple. <laughs> that really was the whole story. There's, there's no drama. There's nothing uh, exciting or bad. Nothing has happened. Like, everything's fine. Everyone's good. My mom's good. I'm good. Everyone's good. Everything's fine. Just, it's been wild. Alright, I'm going to use that last. I'm not used to only having four colors in my life, but we're going to make this work. I like the color story of this. This is my second Il Maquillage palette. Their foundation was a hard pass for me. It, it was not my jam at all. Uh, and I hesitate to make a negative comment about this eyeshadow because let me tell you, Il Maquillage has some major stands for fans, like super obsessive. Like you say one negative thing about Il Maquillage and they come at you in the comments, usually with name calling and almost always telling you that you're doing it wrong and that's why it's not working for you. And uh, yeah, the name calling, I hope you don't see it because I block and delete. Like that, and there's no place for that here. Uh, but yeah, they've, they've got some stands. I, <laughs> so, you know, and it's never subscribers to this channel. It's always people who don't subscribe to the channel. They must just be like searching for the brand name and then every time they find a video, they jump on and troll it. Anyway, it's a nice color story, but these shades are all pretty weak. The mattes are kind of weak. The shimmers aren't giving me life in any way. Let's try it with a fingertip and see if it's a little brighter at least. I mean... They're just average, like, there's just, there's just nothing special about this. So come at me, you know, I'm just not a fan of this brand. It's just not my favorite brand. It's, it's okay. And not the foundation though, that was a hot mess. And I tried it several times, even with the advice of the stands. No. <sighs> yeah, uh, the packaging's gorgeous, I'll give it that. It's always got fingerprints on it, but it's solid and magnetic and beautiful. So, I mean, I just don't have a... I, there's just nothing special about it. I wouldn't pay for it. Eh, that's, that's how I'm going to put that. Since I'm not a huge fan of these colors, I like these shit. This, uh, let's try this pencil. So this Pear Nova pencil, also in the, the BoxyCharm... It's a rose quartz eyeshadow stick on one side, and then the other side is an eyeliner pencil. Now, I love these combo kind of things for travel purposes. Oh, we're probably not going to be able to see it very well. Oh, but it's a nice rose color. Actually, I am going to keep doing this because it's bringing some nice rosy goldness into that shimmer. Okay, okay, okay. Should we do some eyeliner? Again, probably. Oh no, it's going on quite nicely. Who is this brand? I'm not familiar. This looks like a brown liner. I am not familiar with this brand, but this liner is super smooth. And you're supposed to smudge it with your fingertips, it said, on the box? Okay. All right. I can handle this. This is super smooth. Like, if you're the person that thinks eyeliners tug on your eyelids too much, this is the solution to that. This is super smooth. Super easy to apply. Good for crepey eyelids as well. That's I like these kind of liners for my crepiness anyway. All right. All right, Paranova. I like you. I like you. That's nice. So, yeah. So that was where I've been and why I haven't been uploading. If you want to find me, I post weekly on my Patreon and I do pop stories up on my Instagram even when I don't have time to post. I was posting. I had a little couple things on TikTok. Anyway, you can find me on my Facebook group, which is a Color Street Mostly Nail Polish group. 
Uh, so I am around on socials. It's just that I just did not have time to film and edit. Now, I might get another video or two up before the new year, but honestly, don't be surprised if you don't hear from me again until the new year. And I'm going to say why once I caffeinate a little bit more. So what I do this time of year is sit down, reflect on my businesses, where I'm going, what I'm doing with it. Don't worry, YouTube is number one. It is always the... It's not going anywhere. I'm, I'm YouTube totally don't even don't even think about it. Don't even think about getting rid of me cuz I'm going to be here. <laughs> like, YouTube is not going anywhere. But we closed down the quirky creator shop and I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Dark Star. I dug this out when it was in the previous um uh, I don't remember if it was in the boxy charm or the icon box, but ever since I dug it back out, I've been obsessed again. It's lovely. So I kind of just look at, you know, where am I making money? Where am I not? Where am I spending my time? Where can my time be most impactful? You know, reflecting back on the past year, comparing it to previous years, looking at what I had set out to do at the beginning of the year versus what I was actually able to accomplish. I never accomplish as much as I want to because I stretch myself too thin and I try to get better at that. But what I'm going to be doing between now and the new year is kind of doing that and figuring out what stays, what goes, where will I reallocate my time? What am I going to do differently? Estee Lauder Double Wear Zero Smudge. And the YouTube's not going anywhere. I will still be here. And the only thing I'm trying to figure out, and I just need to sit down and think about it for a while, is am I going to continue in the same sort of, you know, three videos a week, primarily product reviews? For a long time, I have wanted to stretch out into other things. Now, I don't have an interesting enough life to do vlogs. I love watching vlogs, but I'm I'm a homebody and I'm pretty boring. So <laughs> I don't have any material that would be of interest to any other human on the planet really. I have a I live a boring life. But part of all of that oh I forgot to use the mascara in the box Oh well well I'll use it in, in another video. It'll be fine. <sighs> what was I saying? So, yeah, so I don't know. Am I going to introduce different content? I've debated with going to two videos a week instead of three. If you follow a lot of channels, you'll see that most post one or two per week. Three a week is a really heavy load to keep up with, <laughs> especially now that I don't pay an editor anymore. I remember when Tati used to post three videos a week and when she discussed how she was cutting back and all the time she put into it like at that time she already had an editor for her videos and I was like gosh like why am I still trying to do this but part of the thing is the way YouTube revenue works like your revenue tanks it's really dependent on posting content regularly and in my case because I'm in a very small niche you know we're, we're there aren't all that many of us in this age group watching makeup videos um, that it makes a huge difference in my ad revenue if I, sorry, I'm trying to choose what brow product I want to use. <laughs> Should I just do the Jones Road? I'm just going to do the Jones Road. I don't know if I grabbed the colored one or the clear one. I grabbed the clear one. Well, that's good because we're a little bit no makeup makeup. So, you know, your ad revenue goes way down and it's kind of like, Am I going to fill that time with something else that is profitable or is that going to be a decrease in revenue for something that's not going to be profitable? Because I really don't want to reduce my income. I want to branch out and find ways that I can create things that are valuable to people and not a waste of time. <laughs> so I need to do some 
soul searching there, some evaluation, see like what the heck I want to even do. So that is something I'm going to think about. Uh, how my businesses are going to move forward. One of the things I've been contemplating, there's that lip gloss from Ace Beauty, from the BoxyCharm, it was from the Glam Bag, from Ipsy. Uh, ooh, ooh, a little bit of my lip stain stuck here. I have a little bit here too. Uh, one of the things I've been debating is with this t-shirt endeavor, is whether I want to make it a thing where I have physical products that I sell at vendor events, for example. I love doing vendor events, absolutely love it. I've wanted to be a vendor since I was a little kid, going to craft shows, like, I, but I've never, I don't have skills to make anything, except I kinda do now, so, <laughs> skincare, the soaps, the t-shirts, so I'm kind of debating whether I want to bring the t-shirts into the physical realm instead of doing just print on demand. I did get for Christmas, Santa brought me early, Santa meaning my mom, a sublimation printer and a heat press. Now I'm not doing sublimation t-shirts, the direct, these are direct to garment printing, which is more flexible as far as the things you can print on. Uh, so these designs are all direct to garment, but if sublimation is a whole nother process, has some more restrictions in the sense that you can only print on like polyester blend fabrics and t-shirts as opposed to 100% cotton ones like this. But anyway, so that's like a decision I'm making. I'm kind of just contemplating my future of my entrepreneurial pursuits. I still want to turn my foundation spreadsheet, which yes, I know it has not been updated in a months because I was planning on starting this next version of an app with it and update it all when I did that, but that has been going slower than I anticipated. So I know, I know, I know, I know. Uh, but I still want to turn that into some kind of more robust app for choosing foundation shades. I still have other plans for courses. I actually had an idea to write a book about how uh, courage is greater than confidence. Like, I, it's a whole thing in my head. I got this whole thing in my head exploring because I get a lot of comments like, Oh, you're so confident. You know, how do you, how do you, how do you do that? And I want to tell you how I did that because I wasn't ever confident, ever. And I don't even think I would call myself confident now. But I'm courageous. And honestly, I think that's more important. Just being, having the courage to be uncomfortable. Having the courage to face someone that doesn't like you. Anyway, so that's all ra rambling around in my head and I might turn that into something else to help more people do the same thing. My hair is like all over the place. Uh, yeah, so that's something I'm looking to do in. Yeah, so I, I got ideas. I have, to, I have to settle on some things. Where am I going to fit this into my life? What steps am I going to take? What's the future going to look like? So between now and New Year's, I'm going to do a lot of thinking on that kind of stuff, which might prevent me from posting. I don't know. But I do have some fun stuff coming up soon. I bought the new uh, CoverGirl. CoverGirl? Yeah. Simply Ageless Skin Perfector Essence. This is a foundation that looks a lot like the Jane Iredale that I thought was so gross. <laughs> They've got a lot of stands, too. That, that video has more comments of people yelling at me that I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Guess what? Sorry, I don't care. If your makeup is so hard that you have to be like so particular in how you use it to make it work, not for me. Not for me. Come at me all you want. Because I got courage. Don't need the confidence. Anyway. <laughs> you like you like that little tie-in? What's, what's that word? Like transition? I don't know. So I got this. I got, uh, I got a bunch of the new CoverGirl. I don't know who this collaborator is. <laughs> 
Kelsey Ballerini. I feel like I'm so old. She's probably someone I should know. Ooh, I got the 2024 launches from Physicians Formula. They've got a foundation. I got like five other things. A super cute butter glow. I'm really kind of excited for this one. I got a blush from them. I got a setting powder. So there's some good Physicians Formula coming. Like I said, I've got a, a few things from MOB beauty that I want to try out and share with you because some of them I'm already trying out. I've got, what else do I have? I have so much good little stuff coming. I feel like I have another foundation too, but I can't see it in my disaster. So I don't know where it is, but I got stuff coming. Just got to film it and edit it. <laughs> So I will be filming between now and New Year's. I just might not get it edited. I may just take the time to make it a total break, come back in January. So maybe you'll see me, maybe you won't. Follow me on Instagram if you don't, because I do post on my IG stories. Uh, if you don't follow me on Patreon, like I said, there is a free option on Patreon. Not everything is locked behind the paywall, the membership paywall. If you want to be a member, it helps me out. You know my goal is to become a full-time entrepreneur at some point in the future. So feel free to check it out on Patreon. I have the link in the description below. And I think that's all the updates. There's our nice little no makeup makeup face. I need a haircut so bad, uh, but I'm not going until after the new year. Look at, I'm like a hippie. Like, look, if I tried to do a mohawk right now, it would not, it would not happen. It would not happen. Oh, one of these cuts is going to be the last one for this color, and I don't think I'm going to bleach my hair anymore. I mean, for a while. I'm sure I will go back to bleaching it. But, uh, I don't know. I got a whole lot of grays in here. I don't know if I'm going to start dyeing it, like, dark brown or black, or if I'm just going to roll with it. I don't know. Another decision that I have to make sometime soon. <laughs> Problem is I don't feel like myself if I have a natural hair color. Like I really don't. It doesn't, I just feel weird. I feel like an imposter. I feel like an, I'm in a costume. Like I just, I don't, I don't know. I've had, I've been dyeing my hair funny color since I was 16. And I've, if you add up all the time between the age of 16 and my current age of 49, there's maybe two years time total if you add up all the little breaks that I've taken with hair color that I was a natural color and it's just not me. Anyway, I don't know. Don't know what I'm going to do. Got some decisions to make. I hope the holiday season is treating you all well. I hope as you head into the new year, you are thinking of things yourself and how you will put yourself on the best path for your personal fulfillment, your personal peace, which is so underrated and so important, your personal success, well-being, health, wellness, happiness, joy, contentment. I hope you're looking for those things in your own life and you're going to find a way to make all that happen. I'm working on it in mine and... Yeah, so don't be surprised if you don't see me before the new year, but you still might, because I might pop in. I might pop in. We'll see. We'll see how the timing goes. Happy Merry, all the things. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Solstice. I am missing, there's like 34 different winter holidays across all the religions that are celebrated at this time of the year, and I do not know them all. But I hope you are doing well. I hope you are celebrating the season however you care to celebrate it. And if not, just celebrate yourself because doggone it, you're worth it. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. Happy end of 2023. Thank you for being with me through this year. Even when it's been a roller coaster, it's all good. We are, we are moving forward doing good things, and I will catch you in 2024. As always, I appreciate your time, and I hope you guys all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye.